Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have crossroads. Potential. Surviving. Trial and error. Clarify crossroads. Burnout. Clarify potential. Birth. Hmm. Clarify surviving. Fragmented. Clarify trial and error. Look. And love on the back of the deck. So, of course, this has to pertain to love. You guys could be getting what you deserve when it comes to love with karmic justice. Love with karmic justice following. Yeah, contracts and boundaries. <sighs> Making something official. Wrongs made right. Staying true to yourself. Your boundaries are being tested. I do feel like you guys are going to be getting what you deserve when it comes to love. Um, important legal matters. Inter okay, so somebody could be coming and wanting to make things right with you, offering you something solid. And it could be because you guys have set that standard. So you're like, okay, if it's not commitment, if it's not solid, I don't want it. It's like kind of giving me that energy. Somebody sees the potential in the situation, but they are still like conflicted or in indecision about it. They see the potential. They do want a new opportunity or to start over but somebody is like very focused on the fact that they're like struggling financially or like barely making ends meet like they feel like they have to work their ass off just to pay the bills or something like that we have fragmented hmm having too many options too many things going on at once a split in your energy the picture is incomplete experimenting with life willing to so someone's willingness to try new things is leading to some type of positive change okay where does my collective fit into this situation the moon and we have the waiting game so waiting for you guys maybe know something is coming in for you or you know something is going to happen you feel something kind of building up or coming towards you but like you're expecting to hear from somebody or you just, hmm, for what? Let's see. Serendipity. You guys are just kind of maybe trusting in the universe. Like you're just trusting that the universe is bringing something in for you at the perfect timing. Karmic cycle. Settling scores in life. Karmic relationship. Karmic patterns. Negative cycles. Personal growth. So did you. Evil eye. You are protected, cleanse and protect your energy, jealous people nearby, careful who you trust. Somebody could also be waiting to hear from you. Yeah, somebody could be waiting to hear from you. Yeah, being active on social media, strong social media. Oh, you guys have people, if you guys have a social media presence, you have haters. You have people that watch you and they're jealous or something like that. Tell me more. But Spirit says you're protected, we have boredom. Wanting more out of life, longing for a change. Constraint. Who feels like they're stuck? Somebody feels like they're stuck. What does that do with online, though? They feel like they're kind of stuck in their situation. Choosing your highest good, aligning with your higher self, connected to spirit on the right, on the path of the divine. Divinely guided. What are you being divinely guided to do right now? You're definitely being divinely prepped. Okay, so you're being divinely guided to focus on your purpose. Yeah, do, doing the soul work, discovering your life purpose. Okay, so coldness. But you guys, oh, you know what, guys? You guys have been waiting. Like, you guys may feel like you've been doing the healing work. You may feel like you've been learning. You've learned the lessons. You've you've been doing the shadow. You know, you doing the shadow work. Like, you've been doing all. You've been focusing on your purpose or whatever. And now you guys are like, okay, well, the one thing that I, wow, I just saw 555 five, five on the camera. Things are changing. The one thing 
You know, okay, the divine has blessed me with all these other things. But the one thing that I really want, I still haven't gotten. And it has to do with love. You guys have been waiting for the divine to bring you in your divine partner. You feel like, okay, divine, I did what I was supposed to do. I did the healing work. I did all that stuff. Okay, where is that person? I thought, I thought if I worked on myself that, you know, I would manifest an ideal partner. And I feel like you guys feel like that's where you're, you're lacking. Um, is like having like a partner because that's an absence of love. Love life is blocked, frozen in some area of your life. Emotions buried deep within. So it's like you guys have been waiting for this person to come in for you or this. Yeah, and I feel like. Yeah, you guys feel like you just don't know what's going to happen. Like you don't know what's happening next. Some of you guys have been like. Uh, overworking yourselves. Why are surviving here? Stepping stones, st taking one step at a time. Don't rush the journey. Gradually building on success. The start of something bigger. It's like you guys. I'm not saying you guys are broke. Like you're not broke, but you maybe don't. You're not making as much as you would like to make. But Sphere says that you're gradually building on success. You're going to start making more money. You will. You, you will gradually start to make more money. It's like that type of thing. Like, I don't think you guys are like hurting for money but it's almost like maybe you're like i'm not making as much as i would like to and i'm working my ass off or something like that i don't know so you guys feel like there's an absence of love in your life tell me more we have local travel and we have children what emotionally immature behavior starting a family yeah some of you guys are wanting to start a family but we have many vacation getting out oh because so spirit may be saying that you need to get out more what is local travel Answers. Mystery reaches resolution. Having answers, clarity, problems will be resolved. Closure from the past. Third party. Oh. What does that do with local travel? Ghosting. Oh, having to drive more, getting out more, money, local vacation, blah, blah, blah. Sudden disappearing at cutting off all communication. Feeling rejected, dealing with lack of closure. Okay. What does that do with, I don't know. Hot mess, disorderly habits, untidy mind, chaotic, messy situation, feeling miserable and unhappy. I don't understand what that has to do with um, local travel spirit. So you're going to be getting some type of clarity or answers in regards to a third party situation that somebody put you in. But it's like you guys maybe feel like something is unfinished with a person. Like you feel like you know they're going to be back or you know that it's not over. Like, and, but this person, whoever this person is, they are miserable. Like they're, they're messy. But I'm not really sure what this has to do with local travel. This could be you guys getting out. Okay, now we have travel. It's almost like you and this, whoever this person is, you have like little like short-lived flings with them or like escapades with them. Like you guys spend a weekend together. You, you have a fun weekend or you have a fun couple weeks together or you never like, it never moves past that, but we have travel here. So it says long distance travel, wanting to escape. See, what is that? A, a new adventure, a journey to the next level. Death, inevitable end of what? Self-image. So somebody's going through a, a transformation process of themselves. Improving their self-image, yeah, focusing on what they can change, superficial confidence, and security issues. Somebody's trying to, it's almost like somebody cannot offer you something, or they weren't able to offer you something more, like they weren't able to take things to the next level with you before. They were capable of giving you these very short-lived, it's just things were very short-lived between you and this person before because they were so emotionally immature. They could have also had something maybe do with children. Or a family situation that they had going on or something like that. But I feel like somebody's trying to change. They feel like they need to work on their self-image. Or maybe you did as well. To be able to take things to the next level with you. Because yeah, they definitely were a hot mess. So now what's happening? What's happening now? Good health, okay. And playfulness. So I see good energy. Like you guys are going to be feeling better. You could be getting more active, eating better. Um, you could have, if you've been sick, you could be feeling better. I see playfulness. You guys getting out more, having fun. Um, crystal ball. See, it says events take you place in the future. So maybe that's what's coming in for you. So you're saying things are going to get better. Yeah. Inner knowing that. Yeah. Learning hard lessons. Mm. Between worlds. You're dealing with somebody that's like. 
they're not 100% who they used to be, but they're not 100% who they could be either yet. Or who, they, who they're, they haven't reached their potential yet. So I feel like... Yeah, they're going through chaos right now. Difficult experiences, heavy burdens, test your strength. They're learning some very difficult lessons right now. So what does that do with my collective? They're, they're learning. Okay, we have reconciliation and we have deep thinking. So brick wall. Somebody may be wanting to reconcile with you, but just know that they haven't completely changed. They're wanting something lighthearted with you. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why the boundaries card keeps showing itself on the back of the deck. Spirit says, if you want something committed and stable, you're going to have to stop settling for less than that. Because this person is coming towards you. And Spirit says, you got to handle them differently because they're coming towards you in a playful energy. They're not taking things too seriously when they're coming towards you. They're in the, they're in the midst of a transition or a transformation. They can even be moving or have to move. But I feel like there's going to be a need to really think about whether or not you want to get back together with this person. You're going to have to be logical when making this decision. Because there's definitely delays here. I don't think it's fin It's not finished between you and this person. It's not over. And this could lead to something long term. But it's almost like you're going to have to have firm boundaries in place with this person yeah the feminine energy what about woman divine timing what about woman the world what's it with you concert they have a, okay spirit says they have a karmic contract with a feminine energy that and it they have to they have to learn the lessons that they have to learn from that. so this may be somebody that you are destined to be with but spirit says that they're they're with there's some type of feminine energy around them that is like a karmic of theirs where they have to learn certain lessons from that situation. Spirit says that's where they have to be. They have karma to sort out there. So what does this really have to do with you though? I think that they're going to try to come towards you. Yeah, you need to do what's best for you. You need to choose what's for your highest good. Not what, you know, don't not cater into this person and their needs and their wants. It's time to do what makes you happy and what's best for you in the situation. So I feel like somebody's coming towards you. Just know that they're still in the midst of a karmic contract, a chaotic karmic contract with a feminine energy. Um, I think that they're coming towards you as like for like a little, they may even want to like get away with you for a weekend or they may want to come visit you and see you. They may want to spend a little time with you. But we had ghosting that came out earlier. So I think this person is going to end up leaving again. Yeah, waiting game. Expecting to hear news, waiting for something or someone putting it. Yeah. The, somebody's like wanting you to wait on them while they're in the midst of some type of chaotic situation. And Spear says you need to make the choice that's best for you in this situation because this person is a hot mess. Yeah. And yeah, when it comes to you and them, it's a brick wall. Insurmountable obstacle. Block for your highest good. Not able to make progress. Time to do things different. So are they coming towards you? Is that what's happening? Are they reaching out? What are they doing? Yeah, they do. They're they're coming towards you, or they feel at least, at least they feel drawn to you. Because it's hard to resist something or someone. Attraction to something or someone. Attracting things in life. Seduction, charm. What about magnetic? Oh, we have money, finances, financial. So somebody feels like they want to be with you. They feel drawn to you, but they feel like money and finances, surviving is like what they need to prioritize the most right now. So that's why this person, so what are they coming towards you for? A little, a, like an escape. Somebody had a reading like this. Interest. Ooh, you know what this person likes to do is like they kind of use you as like a recharge or like a, like a, a, um, a safe haven or like a, you know what I mean? <laughs> This is recharging your mind and body. There's something about you that makes this person feel better. Or like that makes them feel more replenished. They, it's like they're, they're, your energy. Do, do they deserve to have you in that way? Yeah, sudden fast change, taking quick action, shocking events, love striking you unexpectedly. Tell me more unfinished. Tell me more about it. Love. Let's do this coming up. 
relocation. Didn't it say somebody was maybe moving? A change in the home, moving to a new location, plans to relocate, relocating for work. So are they going to do this? <laughs> Soulmates, are they going to do this? Toxicity and boredom. They want Somebody wants more out of life. Yeah, they don't want the chaos anymore, but there are some, there's somebody that's trying to work against them, you know, making these changes. So what do they feel like they can't, what's within their, their ability to change? Because it says that they are focusing on what they can change. Okay, deep thinking and children. Good health. say guys is that like if you have any upcoming interactions with this person whoever this is we're going to take a deeper look at that in a second they're telling you it's a time to use logic over emotions you got to keep in mind all of that all that you're working towards all right and if this person is in alignment with, with, with what you're working towards or if they're on the same page as you and if they're not and you allow them into your life that, that's counter that's what i'm saying it's like you guys are two opposing forces right now until they get on the same page as you, they're actually going to hinder what you're trying to manifest versus helping you manifest that. They're not going to be able to co-create with you. So let's get some tarot. Where's the deck at? It's like they may not be actively trying to work against you being able to get a new home or reach a financial goal or whatever. But they are by not... Like they're they're doing it unintentionally by just coming to keep they keep coming towards you not ready, not on the same page as you. These little quick fling things that they want to have with you are counteractive. We have seven of swords. If you entertain the fling, or if they tell you that they literally come towards you and they say, you know, I don't got I got I don't got my shit together all the way. I'm still got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of chaos going on in my life, and I got this, this and this going on. And you're like, all right, well, I'll let you, but I'll let you come back into my life. You're, you're allowing that into your life, okay? So just that's what you need to know. You're allowing that to come into your life. And... Sorry, guys. My kids are being loud. So we have seven of swords here. And we have the three of wands. Eight of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's like... This person's been expecting to hear from you, I feel like. They've been expecting to hear from you. I think that they haven't heard from you. You're going to hear from them. They have an inability to commit to you. Like, trying to be with you would be them overextending themselves. Because they have so much other shit going on that they need to focus on getting handled. So that's why you, it's almost like you need to tell this person, you handle your shit and I'll continue to handle mine. And then maybe after we both handle our shit, maybe we can come together. Like maybe then. But until then, no, you're not going to bring your chaos into my life. Like I think that that's what you did before, possibly. But you know, this person does not have the ability to commit to you. Seven of Swords, they may not even be telling you the truth about it. Clarify the Seven of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Maybe they're trying to figure out. How to lighten their load. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's like this person has a lot of obligations or responsibilities or they work a very demanding job or they just, they feel very overwhelmed. Trying to be with you on top of that, it's not going to work out, okay? Like they got to get it sorted out. So this person is trying to figure out with the seven of swords, how they can lighten their load, how they cannot have so much stress and anxiety and like burdens and they're trying to figure out, like, yeah, that's what I feel like they're doing. They're trying to figure out, like, what is important to them and what's not important to them. And they're making what is important to them the priority because this person's starting to realize you cannot have all, you cannot have all of these things. Click, tell me about the Three of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. Yeah, they've been waiting for you to, like, express some type of emotion or, or apologize. Somebody's been waiting for an apology or an expression of emotions. Clarify the um, Eight of Wands, the Five of Cups in reverse. And the Knight, yeah, just know, guys, this person's heavily unstable. Like, they're, they're, they don't have it together. It's something to do with money here. What is Five of Cups in reverse? The Seven of Cups and the Sun in reverse. They don't, hmm. 
Eight of Wands, Five of Let's have to do with um, Leo energy here. And Aries, Leo, Sag with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know if I was saying the signs or not. Uh, why is the Five of Cups in reverse? I need more clarity. The Six of Pentacles. And then the Page of Wands. I really feel like this person was hoping that you would be the one to come towards them and reach out to them. This person is like in this energy of not wanting to have to tell you the truth about something or, or for some of you, this person's going through possibly some legal issues where they need material help or they're going to tell you that they got into a situation because they needed material help with a legal situation. Huh? But what does this have to do with you? <laughs> what does this have to do with you? Because I did see that children aspect. Maybe they were going through a custody battle or something like that. Maybe that's why they feel like they have to work really hard. I don't know. We have nine of wands. The hanged man in reverse. Give me a second, guys. All right, I am back. When I film in the afternoons like this, guys, it's multitasking. Okay, so it's like, they may come in and tell you the truth about something. Something may get cleared up here. That's why I, I, I feel like this person is gonna tell you what's been going on. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna tell you why there's delays. They're gonna tell you why that they've been going through it. There's something possibly to do with a legal situation that they're going through. Um, I just feel like they're going to end up expressing this to you because there is a lot of confusion here. I feel like there is a lot of confusion. The Five of Swords. Yeah, there's conflict. This person could feel like they lost in court and it was unfair. So again, what is this? So they're coming. It's like they want you to bear with them or something like that. Two of swords and, or maybe they're worried about losing something in court or something like that. Three of pentacles, collaboration, teamwork, skills, shared goals. What does that do with you? They want to tell you the truth about how they came together with somebody yeah, they came together with somebody because they needed some type of material help when it came to a, a legal situation or, or something like that. Possibly a legal situation regarding children. They, they want to come in and clear the air. They want to clear something up with you. But now they feel stuck there. Why do they feel stuck? The temperance card and the four of wands in reverse. The four of wands in reverse. Why do they feel stuck? They're, they feel stuck because of some type of. It could be mentally. They're just feeling. They're maybe feeling mentally stuck or. Strength to what? Wands. What, is it, what about this queen of cups though? The here of in reverse. What's that do with my collective? The queen of pentacles in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What? The Chariot in reverse. And the Pate. This person feels like... This is weird, guys. I don't know. They have a fear of change. They have a fear of a tower moment happening. What, what type of tower? The Six of Pentacles in the... Okay. And then what? They're stressed out about... 
a new outlook that what? What's this new outlook? It's like this person doesn't feel like they can cultivate some. It's like they they thought that this could be successful and that this was their wish fulfillment or something like that. Or maybe this, that maybe that's how they're feeling about this other situation. Because I'm not. They've lost hope. Why? Or you guys have lost hope. The Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I don't know. I just see that this person is feeling stuck, and I'm not seeing why. <laughs> I mean, I see a lot of different things, but I just want it to get, there's a lot of different things here coming out. I see things, but not that we've already talked about it. So I'm just still not getting, I need something more straight to the point here. Okay. So give me four cards to tell me why this person is feeling like, I think that they're going to come in and tell you what's been going on. And and that it's like they're gonna want you to wait on them or something like that which that's a lot to ask of somebody it's like somebody feels like they can't wait they've been trying to stay away from you until they get this situation sort, sorted out but i just saw the insatiable card so they feel like they can't stay away from you any longer remember we had the magnetic card earlier so they feel like they cannot resist coming towards you any longer so what is going on with this person that they feel, see, they're leaving a situation, uprooting. They're leaving all those familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. Tell me more. So they may tell you like, look, I'm leaving this person. I'm leaving this situation. Um, could, you just give, could you just be patient with me? But why, what's the holdup? What's the stagnation? Justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. Now, remember we saw justice earlier. We saw karmic justice. So somebody is wanting to give you what they know you deserve, but it's like not right now because they don't have the ability to do so. We have losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Okay. And we have back and forth. They're trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. So it's like really just internally. I don't, I don't feel like it's, you know, they miss you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. Clarify the stuck energy. We have sexual union, stuck, investigating. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. We have investigating. They are secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. Yeah, it's like you're the the wheel is turning in your favor or like you're about to get like so you're going to get karmic justice. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing. You're going to be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. You know, is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed to be vindicated. Slipped away. This person maybe kind of just feels stuck because you they, they feel like you won't work with them anymore. Like you won't compromise with them anymore. Like maybe in the past you were willing to like wait on them or like you get you were very patient with them you were willing to like give them some time and space or whatever to get their shit sorted out but now i think this person feels like you aren't in that same energy anymore like they've lost that version of you though they never had you to them you will always be the one that got away they regret the chance they didn't take so this is somebody that you had a fling you had like a fling or you guys had a very like you had short-lived like you've been in an on and off like this is not for the, the person that's been in some, been with somebody for years and years and years. This is somebody who, like, you guys were maybe never, never even full-blown together. Like, you guys would, like, have periods of time where you guys were talking and messing around, whatever. And then you guys would stop talking. And then it would be some distance. And then you guys would, you know, have another little, like, period of, like, two weeks, a month, a couple days. And then it would end. It's, like, it's been, like, a very on and off thing here. Because they have this other situation that they're in. And that, yeah, they're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. It's almost like this person feels like they're stuck in their circumstances because they feel like you will, no, you're, you, you've lost your pace, patience for them. That they feel like you no longer have any patience for them. They, they know that they can't give you what you need right now. They want to be with you, but they don't, they don't even feel like you have any more patience left to give them. Like they're like, they want you to wait on them while they're, they want to be able to offer you something more solid and would give you what you deserve, but they just know that they can't give it to you right now. They got a lot on their plate. I think they're trying to figure out how to not have so much on their plate. 
you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle is only three that makes them run. I think that they're also battling with like, still with mentally and emotionally. You yeah, have beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful, but your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. So they're still working through like their insecurities and like their mental blocks. So that's pretty much what it is. They do kind of feel dumb though. Yeah, look at this. Exactly. I'm going to leave it right at this. They don't want you to give up now when you've come this far because it will all be worth it in the end. So even though you guys never were like maybe full blown together and like had anything super solid, they still feel like you guys have something between the two of you. Like you built some type of like relationship or there is a connection there and they feel like it's too significant to just let it go. So this person knows that they messed up with you. I think that they're going to, their final ditch effort to try to get you to kind of hear them out or like wait on them or give them a chance to get their shit together is to come in and be honest with you about what is going on with them or what has been going on with them so that's kind of what i'm seeing coming towards you so that's kind of what i'm seeing coming towards you so that's kind of what i'm